this week's video will be a little bit more comfortable because lately I felt pretty down about my art making. I don't know, I don't feel inspired anymore and I'm not a person who relies on inspiration on a daily basis but I am at a point right now where I am every time I sit down and I pick up a pencil to draw I feel so numb and I think that's because I I don't want to say I lost my drive because I don't think that's true but I it feels like that and I want to get my inspiration back I want to feel the love again for what I'm doing and this is the challenge for this week and so I thought I would take you along with me because I think I'm probably not the only person going through this so I made myself a tea I got myself a water and I will start this by flipping through my older sketchbooks because I always find this very inspiring and very motivational, so let's get started! <laughs> This sketchbook basically changed a lot of things for me because I think this was the sketchbook where I realized that I really improved a lot. And I also tried to do a Monday painting thing, but I didn't stick to it, so yeah. <laughs> this means so much to me. This is, by the way, highlighter. I do love to work with highlighter, as you can tell. Ooh, this was after I watched King Arthur, the Guy Ritchie movie, for the first time. I love this movie so much. More King Arthur stuff. Oh my god, this movie. Oh my god, I really miss drawing with ballpoint pen. I think I will do that today. Yeah, I can feel the inspiration coming back. This sketchbook is the best feeling sketchbook that I ever touched. Even though it was so expensive, I used it mostly for warm-ups because I was doing a lot of things digitally back then. <laughs> I wanted to draw landscapes with acrylic paint and it looks terrible, but it feels amazing, so that's why. Oh, I can laugh about these. This is... I really tried to warm up with this sketchbook and I really didn't bother. I felt more and more comfortable with my art. I'm so proud of myself in doing all of this. Also this thing here. I love masks, as you can tell. I also designed a whole character based around masks. and. I started designing him here in the sketchbook and I started to design it here. Oh, Little Witch Academia! Oh, I really like this character. Sometimes I draw her again. <gasps> my favorite spread. One of my favorite spreads that I ever made. Look at these froggos! I started to learn how to use gouache and I think this was the last time I used it even though I really like the way these turned out. Oh my god, I'm so happy now. I made myself another tea. Don't mind the light by the way, I want to feel very cozy today and I don't want to do that with softboxes and that studio setting because I usually use softboxes to light everything. But today it's all about getting my inspo back and for that I won't use softboxes. And for today I just want to have fun in my sketchbook. I plan out a couple of things for tomorrow to get my inspo back and maybe try different things. But today I just want to sit down and very comfy sketch a little bit. And hopefully that will work. It made me feel inspired again. By the way, this chair is so loud. I really need to get another one. It's also so chunky and I really want to get a smaller chair that is more comfortable. So let's go on Pinterest first. Oh man, I am so happy right now. Even though I am a little bit intimidated of the thought of drawing because that's still an issue. Every time I sit in front of a blank page I'm getting so nervous because I don't know what to draw and that doesn't really help me with my inspiration issue. I think it actually makes it worse because I start to panic every single time I don't come up with something instantly. It's so weird because usually if I have an idea then my thoughts won't stop coming and I think I build up something like a wall to make myself sleep and make myself live without my brain constantly working and I think it's difficult for me to overcome that wall that I built when I sit down to sketch. 
if that makes sense. It's very weird and I don't know how, what to do about it except for just doing it and just sitting down and taking the time to really brainstorm. And I'm thinking about trying the Pomodoro method. Oh my god, these expressions are so cool. I want to draw these expressions now. Oh my god, what an expressive face. I also have a pin, Pinterest board about expressions. Yeah, I think I want to draw this, but I'm not warmed up yet. And I'm a little bit scared of drawing in the sketchbook. So I will take my trash book that I don't really care about. Oh my god, he does have more expressions. I am so in love with his expressions. Oh my god, this is sick. I actually wrote down a couple of ideas that I had of how I could try to fix this issue that I'm having right now. And one of the things is to just draw whatever I see and that whatever I want to draw from photo, just to have fun again. To maybe let the pen slide over the paper and really focus on how that feels. Be present in the moment because that's something that I realize changes a lot for me and helps a lot with actually being inspired to do what you want to do. Okay, see? now something happened that i was talking about with when i was telling you about the being present in the moment thing i just noticed that i lit a candle that i have this very pretty light thing on and that i have a very good tea right next to me and that i'm actually drawing again i also now that i think about it i am actually very happy that i decided to start drawing because i was laying in bed and i was thinking about maybe reading and maybe do the doing this tomorrow but then I don't know why but I just got up and I need to say I'm so happy that I did I feel so happy right now in the moment just drawing feeling the pen on the paper I didn't feel like that for a while I can feel the excitement in me it's so <sighs> it's so beautiful oh my god okay I think I'm also even though I'm not worked up yet I think I just want to go and draw in this sketchbook. These expressions are so cute. I have an idea. Because I wanted to use watercolor for such a long- I actually just wanted to grab my highlighters because that's something that I love to do. I will put my watercolor palette over here. Why do I have my, my hair oil on my desk? I don't know. What kind of color do I want to use? Oh, I think- oops, wrong, wrong, wrong thing. I think I want to mix a nice, pretty pink color. I want to make this a bright yellow because this is a funny and a happy face. So let me make it happy and yellow. I think I will call it a day and it was such a good idea to do this. I'm so happy. I think drawing happy people makes you happy and I can show you what I did. I'm mostly happy with what I did except for two faces but one of them doesn't bother me so there's only one face that really bothers me but I don't know if I will cover it up or just leave it like this but here it is. I drew a bunch of people, a bunch of emotions and this one here is my favorite. I really like the way to turn out. I am so glad that I did this. I think you can tell how excited I was during this whole thing. I will see you tomorrow. I just got home from a walk and I feel so refreshed. I should do that more often, but every time I want to go outside, I'm like, oh no, it's cold or people will look at you weirdly because you're on your own. And it's so weird because I like to go, for example, to cafes and sketch when I'm alone. But when it comes to walking outside, <laughs> oh no, 
and especially with recording I, I was a little bit scared to do it but I did it and I had so much fun I think or I hope that this will help me with my feeling of being paralyzed as soon as I open my sketchbook because I don't know what to draw and then I start panicking we will see maybe I will implement this in my daily routine and just start my day off by walking it's just it was so nice I'm also wearing something art related today because I really want to channel the energy <laughs> so cold when I was going on a walk so I had to change clothes and I think I would pack even a bigger hoodie. I wanted to talk a little bit about this issue of ins being inspired because I don't think that you should rely on being inspired and on that feeling. That's also not something that I'm doing. I am working with the routine every single day and I'm really trying to not rely on motivation or inspiration too much because I want to do this professionally and I think it's okay if you only do this as a hobby but I think as soon as you want to do this professionally and you want to earn money with it I think you should stop relying on inspiration what I am struggling with now is that when I want to draw in my free time as a hobby that's where this issue kicks in because I really don't know how to overcome these feelings I need to feel the urge of wanting to draw again so that's what I'm trying to do this week and learn this week and I don't know I think I'll only pack ballpoint pen oh I want to also take color pencils with me I'm very excited to go to life drawing because that is always such a nice thing to do every now and then I would love to do it more regularly but, but as I mentioned I don't have something like that in my town I try to organize something on my own with a local library but they didn't reply so I need to go there and ask them in person maybe. I just hope that this session will help me to get that spark back and I think with that spark the fear of the blank page won't hit me as strong as it does without the spark and I will grab my glasses and then <sighs> hit the road. <laughs> okay. from my life drawing session and I it was so much fun it was so cool and it was so relieving I really enjoyed it and I made a couple of drawings but it was so much fun and the guy that I was with holy shit he has such an amazing mindset when it comes to art and drawing in general it was so inspiring to just talk to him about how he doesn't give a fuck about anything and he's just enjoying what he's doing and that really helped me to understand that I should really try to take the pressure off of my shoulders because it's fine and struggling is also fine. The most important thing is that you have fun and you enjoy the process of your pencil and your paper and the outcome doesn't matter. It's not as important as you think it is and he told me that every time he started drawing he really didn't care about the bad stuff because his perception of that was that you don't fail or he didn't mind his stuff because he liked it he enjoyed doing it and he knew that he needed to grind those ugly pieces out and in, in order to become better and it was very inspiring to listen to his thoughts on this topic and I asked him a lot of questions I learned a lot of things I didn't record as much as I wanted to record I think I only recorded the train ride and that, that's it because in that place Obviously, I didn't want to record because of the naked model. Now I will clean my desk and then rest. Maybe draw something, but I'll probably rest. So yeah. I really noticed how the talk to the guy that I took with me to uh, the life drawing session really helped me. Because yesterday, for example, I just wanted to draw very freely and don't care too much about the results or 
less about the results than I usually do and I decided to turn fishes into mermaids and I started drawing a moonfish and I had so much fun just experimenting with these shapes and now I'm just trying to warm up and as soon as I'm warmed up I will uh, continue on a fresh new spread and then we will see how my um, fear of starting <laughs> is because I want to fill at least a spread in my sketchbook or at least a page or a sketch I don't know um, but we will see how that will go yes I need to make this less intimidating. Well, I will continue listening to music. I will grab a post-it out and I will try to sketch something on it. Maybe I will come up with something I want to draw. I am going to take my pond list and I will because I think I never talked about this on my channel before but I will do now I have this book where I write down numbers and right next to the numbers I write down words that somehow I don't know I think about in the moment or that I thought about during the day I do that sometimes I have only I think 440 words in here right now and then I like to put numbers 1 to 440 in a random number generator on google and then i will generate three different words from this book because i don't like to use random word generators they are always trash i never used one that i liked so i decided to do it my way I am getting too frustrated with this, so I will just take a break and I will see if I will draw today or not, but... Okay, as you probably saw in my video yesterday, I didn't feel particularly great because of my art and I think I need to change the approach again. I need to be less harsh on myself and I need to be more forgiving. And I think I understand where my block is coming from. I need to get rid of that pressure. And what's also causing this pressure is that I will be going to an event next month. I know that this sketchbook is the sketchbook that I will take with me. I mean, I'm not even halfway done with it. That is what causes a lot of pressure for me. And I also worked on the sketch a little bit more yesterday and I need to say I like it, I kind of like it. And I will try to reflect on that, putting too much pressure on myself a little bit more and then yeah, we will see how that will go. <sighs> I will have to leave the house in a couple of minutes to go to Berlin to an art event and I am so excited I attended that event just last year. I also hope 
that going to this event will maybe kind of inspire me. And I will also try to go to the museum in Berlin and spend some time drawing there because I will be there for a week and I'm just so excited and I'm looking forward to it and I thought I would take you with me and we can explore Berlin together. Hello, I know this is a very quick or sudden change of environment. I managed to get quite a lot of things done in the cafe, but then it got late and I decided to go home. I think that this kind of art block is caused by a mindset that I have. I know that probably a lot of you guys also struggle with that kind of mindset, so I wanted to share a little bit about that. So basically, I think my art blog comes because of a feeling that I have and that I'm feeling stronger now, but that I low-key always feel like when I'm thinking about art. And that is that I have expectations that are way too high and I think nobody could really fulfill these expectations. Nobody who's healthy at least. And I know that deep down, but I still expect myself to work differently and that is not healthy. And also, I am always so focused on where I want to be that I don't really enjoy where I am right now. I also wrote myself a letter a couple of years ago when I really felt great about my art and my journey and where I was telling myself that if I ever feel bad, then I should read this letter. And also, I told myself basically that I'm so excited at where I am right now and I'm also so excited to see where I will be in a couple of years and I think you should really or in this case I should really learn to accept where I am and also embrace that and have fun with it and I should really stop worrying about failing I learn with every drawing that I make realizing this and realizing that I am the one who causes this art block because of the way that I'm thinking about art and because of the expectations that I have for myself. I think I'm also, I don't know, a little bit more relieved. I can work on that, you know? Um, also, I took a little bit of a break for, I think, five days because I went to Berlin and oh my god, that was so intense. I got very good feedback, but I realized my issue I can hear people telling me that I am good or that I am a skilled artist and I will still think, oh no, I'm not good enough and I should stop thinking like that. I would really recommend you guys, if you're struggling with an art blog right now, to really think about the thought patterns you have and to write down what kind of things you tell yourself or what kind of sentences you're thinking about when hitting that block or when you are not feeling great about your art because those are the thoughts that you need to work on. As I mentioned, I haven't been drawing this whole week and you can definitely see that in my art. I also only warmed up with one very quick sketch before this and I just jumped right into it. And I actually don't mind the mistakes that I see. One reason for that is that this drawing means a lot to me and I actually connect something with it and the other reason is that I'm telling myself that first this is just a sketchbook and second it's just a drawing. I mean whatever, as long as I have fun and I had a lot of fun exploring this. So that's probably the most important thing. Dealing with this art vlog was very difficult but I learned a lot and I know I still have a long way in front of me but I know that I will work on it and then it will get better. I'm very excited to finish this video on such a good note and with feeling excited to draw again and I'm looking forward to my next sketches and my next drawings and my next projects. So yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you took something out of it and maybe you feel inspired or maybe you feel motivated to push through your art block. And as I mentioned, it is okay to take breaks every now and then. So have a nice drawing session. I will see you in the next video. Bye!